These berries may look ripe and delicious, but they're definitely not part of a healthy diet. The bush is inside a 30-kilometer Chernobyl exclusion zone in Ukraine, and radiation levels are off the scale. People do not live here anymore. But same cannot be said about flora and fauna. Some say it is the absence of anthropogenic harm in the Chernobyl exclusion zone, which made nature develop here rapidly. After the 1986 fallout in Chernobyl, the environment suffered badly. One strip of forest was burned by radiation and turned red. People left the area, but Mother Nature stepped in. Now Chernobyl is home to many species of wild animals and rare plants. Scientists from Slovakia studying moths in the area made an incredible discovery. A lot of the plant life is immune to radiation. We still don't understand how it's possible that the plants are able to grow and successfully reproduce in the radioactive Chernobyl area. At the very beginning of the Earth, when the life started to develop, there was much more radioactivity on the surface. So when uh, plants developed, this mechanism somehow stay inside the plant, so they don't have much problem to adapt. Millions of hectares of land were left contaminated. A quarter of a century on, Kiev has decided that this soil no longer poses any threat to humans. In March 2011, Ukraine's government will launch a plan to get things growing again.